Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Satisfactory 1.0, where we are going to unlock the jetpack today. I've done some handcrafting of motors, because you may know that I don't have motors automated yet, and I uh, still sort of haven't done that. I did do a spaghetti setup for automating motors, just to get a few going. Um, so I'm pulling the rotors from downstairs, and I'm using some iron wire plus the steel pipes make statters and so we have motor production here technically I also summer slooped it so we get a few more but it's not good motor production um, and then I also researched in the MAM which I think it's uh, this one yeah I researched this which was a lot of handcrafting for crystal oscillators as well so now I can scan for hard drives so the goal right now is to get the jetpack to get this hard drive scanning so I can go hard drive hunting and get another 10 or something so we're gonna go ahead and unlock this <gasps> Yay! Drunk. what do you got for me Ada are you happy for me reached. fix it has granted you the power of flight Provided you have a jetpack and the appropriate fuels. Yes. The jetpack refuels automatically while you are standing on a surface, and different fuel types will affect the jetpack's functionality. With this increased versatility, you will no doubt achieve efficiency levels previously unheard of. Yeah, I will. Yeah, so the problem is I don't have any fuels. I'm pretty sure it can't burn uh, solid biofuel. Like. If it, w if it does, I'd be weirded out. I just need one more motor, come on. How long is that really gonna take? I guess I'll just make one myself. Um, I'm pretty sure it doesn't, and so we're gonna have to get um, oil researched, which is another 50 motors, so I'll have to wait a little while on that. Uh, but we can at least craft it and look at it. It's like, cool looking, you know? I can use solid biofuel. <gasps> Yay! It just kind of sucks. Oh, it really sucks. I see. Okay. Right. You only get so much, like, per jump. And then it kind of recharges. Oh, that's amazing. Sweet. Okay. Now, what the heck? When I built those, I thought I was just building. Anyway, um, nice. I'm very pleasantly surprised. Now, the downside is you have to pick a uh, jetpack or <laughs> uh, parachute. And there are going to be times where I'm going to run out of jetpack fuel and need a hot swap while I'm falling over to the parachute. But that's okay. Sweet. All right, well, I'm going to pause uh, the recording and we're going to go do some exploration. For those of you on YouTube uh, in the future, if you are like, ah, I hate when he pauses and I don't get to see what he's doing. Um, I'm generally pausing just because I think like me going and doing 45 minutes or whatever of exploring is not the most like riveting gameplay for the recordings. You can always go watch the live VODs if you go to the live tab. Um, this is from stream number five. Check. Yeah, yeah, this is from stream number five if you really want to go watch me do all this exploration. It'll still be around. But I will bid you adieu for now, you future YouTubers, and when I come back, I'm hoping to have a lot more hard drives. Alright, YouTube recordees, I am back, and we have found what looks like only four hard drives, but I've also researched like four. So, we have a bunch of alternate recipes waiting for us already, and more on the way, which is quite nice. Uh, let me show you what we got. So, yeah, we've got six available. Some of these are ones you've already seen. So, fused wire, fine concrete... They're both pretty mid. Um, needing silica to make more concrete is pretty rough. If you have extra quartz, it's fine, I guess. Um, yeah, so there's that one. Bolted frames are pretty good if we can get steel screws. The reason I keep coming back to steel screws is it just makes an absurd amount of screws. So it makes things like this a lot easier. You have to be careful with how many items there are on the belt, because that... <laughs> You need a lot of screws, but other than that, uh, yeah, these are all new ones, I think. The molded steel pipe is interesting. Um, I feel like we already looked at that, actually. But this one's pretty rough. I already re-rolled it, and 
I don't like either option. This is just a way to turn limestone into iron. And it's a little bit of a bad trade, right? You're trading eight limestone for five iron. And it doesn't even double the rate compared to a smelter that you get iron ingots. So that's a pretty, that's a pretty rough one. Um, so I might even end up using the automated speed wiring. I don't know. It seems actually quite a bit. Is that stronger? I guess it depends on how much a high speed connector costs. But it's way cheaper from the stator and wire perspective. Now you're only using half of a stator instead of a whole stator, and you're using 10 wire instead of 20 cable, which is 40 wire. So you're using way less, and the rate, look at the rate, it's triple the rate. Um, now it's producing the manufacturer, which is worse, but it's still triple the rate of the assembler. And then there's these two, which both seem pretty interesting. Um, iron pipe is significantly better than steel. We're using four iron per pipe instead of one steel. And one steel is basically two resources, right? Though, now that I'm using solid steel ingots, maybe this isn't that good. Because with solid steel ingots, three steel is only two coal and two iron. So two coal and two iron is getting me two steel pipes. Which is basically trading one coal for three iron. Yeah, so maybe iron pipes aren't as good given that I'm using solid steel ingots. Uh, but steeled frames seem pretty decent. If you do have a cheaper iron pipe recipe, I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but we've got more scans that are coming. We did a lot of fighting. We killed a lot of things. Look at, look at what we got. We got 26 bitter remains, 13 stinger, 23 hog, 8 hatcher. Iron pipe plus steel rotor. Uh, I don't remember steel rotor. Oh yeah, and I got, I got computers. Oh, I have some rubber here. What all can I research? Can I just like, get ahead on something here? Can I get conveyor mark fours? I don't have... 200 rubber, sadly. Um, I do want to do this this one, though. This one I can do. I need 500 steel pipes, though. More sheets, more beams. I'm going to take the motors. What was the other one? Oh, pipe. All right, I still need 100 more steel pipe, which is just up here. So yeah, in this episode, I think we're going to try to uh, get a little bit of oil going for our jetpack. Why is production paused? Oh, yeah, I just turned that off. I remember that. Um, blah, 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 blah. What am I doing? Rotors are over here. Or rotors, pipes. Pipes is what I meant to say. All right, there we go. Oil processing is done. Milestone reached. Crude oil can now be extracted and refined to produce various industrially beneficial parts. The byproducts of these processes will require careful management, but a capable pioneer such as yourself surely understands that. Of course. To improve efficiency, pipelines can now be optimized with valves to limit and balance their throughput. Oh. These were initially left out because Fixit huh. did not want to overwhelm pioneers with complex pipeline management, but they have since been re-added after my impassioned defense of your capabilities. That's hilarious that they're like, Ada's explaining the meta of why they didn't have those in the game. That's kind of almost an in-joke to players. That's actually really clever. Um... What I'm up here for is I want to grab a little bit of the coal and put it in a dimensional depot just because I wasn't able to craft novelisks when we were out in the wild because I needed coal and sulfur. So that way I can have that to handcraft novelisks. 
Um, but yeah, let's scan for oil here. I think the nearest is the mushroom forest uh, over here. Or the nearest might be the west coast, which will be over here. I'm not sure which is which is closer. I feel triangulated. Uh, hello? Is the scan ever going to get there? There we go. Yep. The, the reason I felt like I'm triangulated is I literally am. They're like the same distance. Hmm. I feel like... Oh, look, we can just literally see the tractor getting stuck on that power pole. Um... I feel like given I already have the tractor route to the east, we could just kind of keep going through here and then down that hill and then get to the, the oil over there. And I've already got power all the way to there. And this is already where my coal plant is. So yeah, I think going east makes the most sense for that. So I'm gonna head over and we're gonna go get our first oil. The jetpack does run on solid biofuel, but it does not run that well. Also, I found seven packaged liquid biofuel. I wonder if it'll work better um, with that. Or is it the same? Definitely lasts longer than the solid biofuel did. I don't know if it's better. I'd be curious to see uh, someone's analysis on all the new fuels. Like, there's now rocket fuel, I think, in the late game, which is a thing. And they might have rebalanced some of the other ones, like turbo fuel turbos you faster, but it lasts for less time or something. There's all sorts of little tweaks like that that they made. So. Yeah, I... Probably have put that stuff away before I came this direction, but it's fine. It's fine. All right, we're gonna start at the docking station, and we're gonna keep the power going, and we're gonna carry it over to the oil. Yeah, this is this is the nice thing about jetpacks is you can kind of just keep it going keeps all of your horizontal momentum. At least I think it does. Unless they changed some, something. Alright. So let's do another quick scan, make sure we're heading in the right direction. Just straight east, there is a crap ton of oil over there. Alright. So we'll grab that power. And I should probably go north, and then there's a ramp to get out of this little area. Yeah, here we go. And there's a spider that I'm just gonna ignore, and maybe it'll give up on us. This is where we'll be driving to get the oil. Wait a second. How do we... Uh, wait, I have forgotten. Can I get oil in a truck or no? And have I gotten this drop pod? Oh, no, I haven't. All right, let's take care of the enemies. I'll always take more hard drives, but we got some, we got some problems first. Uh, that did not take care of all the problems. Not one of the problems. They're still not taken care of. Uh, yes, you are. Okay. All right, everybody dead, except for the hatcher. I can't believe they can take a whole knobby without. Oh, there's another hog too. Alright, 
Come on, guys. I just want the hard drive. Is that much? There's still something left? Another hatcher? Alright, goodness. Now, all I need is one biomass burner. Thank you. Whew. That was kind of intense. Um, Alright, what am I doing? East? Straight east. Now no longer am on the same route my trucks will drive. Unless they can fly. They can't. Alright, which way is it now? I think it's over by that poison. Yeah, still this way. too long. Where can I build this then? Over here? And then here. I'm sure I'll build some big ramp or something for my vehicle. Let's we actually get down here. Where, where are we? Where are we going? I think it's over there. Yeah, 400 meters. We're almost there, folks. Keep your arms and legs inside the vehicle at all times. So what I'm sitting here thinking is, can we transport liquids in trucks? And I think the answer is no. We'll have to package it first to transport it in a vehicle, which I'm not sure if I like that. All right, we got one. Yeah, see you later, Vatamouse. Thanks for hanging out. All right, is that enough to take care of you? Yes, it is. Yeah, he is. I should inhale her. And then we can rebar that thing. Ooh, circuit boards. Don't mind if I do. Oh, there's more. But wait, there's more. Ooh, quadruple kill. Nice. All right, statters. Which remains packaged fuel. Computers. I should trash some stuff. Like three biomass, a single fluctuator. Uh, what else? 84, uh, those are all things I have in the dimensional depot. Mm, that's in the depot. All right, 300 megawatts. Well, good news is we have it. Get up to the base. Easy. Oh, and then I forgot to drop a stamp on the other one. Okay. There are more arachnids. Unfortunately. Wow, there's a lot of them. Let's drop a bomb. And that was very satisfying. spider. Take a bacon, take a slug, and whoop. All right, where are we actually at in regards to the oil? Oh, it's like right here. Right around this corner. 
There it is. And of course, there's a big bad spitter. Two power slugs that I will collect. Why not? Plus a spider. Of course, it had to be a big one. Was that a big one? Wow. Two shots, point blank. Shadow rebar does a lot of damage if it if you get the full you know chatter. Okay, oil it is. Here we go. Oil extractor. Power it up. And that's it. We already got it. 240 per minute. And that's not even overclocked. Um, and then a refinery. We can build... I think we need water, right? So I'm going to build this down here. Um... There's more enemies to take care of. This is an enemy-laden area. Is that like a super hatcher over here? What is this? I think this is a super hatcher. Yep, I just hatched six. Six of these little turds. I really wish you could smack them with the rebar gun. It was a crappy melee. Okay, so what do we actually need to make our first fuel? So we can just straight up make fuel with oil. And we can also make rubber and heavy oil residue. Um, and the polymer resin, we can make petroleum coke out of the heavy oil residue, so we can make power from that. And then there's steamed copper sheets. We can also make fuel out of the heavy oil residue. Okay, I remember all that, loosely. So for now, I just need fuel. I forgot we can't package it, unfortunately. I was hoping to walk home with a lot of jetpack fuel. Uh, that is not going to be the case, sadly. But... Wait, I don't need water. Why am I hooking up water? Because I need to unlock packaging. Can I make another hub? You can only build one. Damn it. Um, hmm, so I need to unlock packaging, but I think I need plastic for that. So... Why don't we... down here and then power up this stuff I guess I've got water over here if I need it like that with power okay so we got oil and now I want to be making what I need plastic Polymer resin comes from this one. So I can make residual plastic with that. So this is why I did the water. I wasn't crazy. Um, let's go with noodle. So yeah, I wasn't totally nuts. So we're 
just gonna get a little spaghetti set up here so that I can go home with some plastic. Yes, yes, sounds good. All right, um, so the polymer resin over there. And why not speed you up? Well, I don't know if I have enough power for that, actually. Yeah, we do. See you later, Spiplet. I shall continue to have fun. Sleep well. Sloop that. Use 120 megawatts. It's fine. Um, and then the fuel is a problem, right? Does the awesome sink have a fluid input? No, you have to package it to sink it. So then, for now, I'll just do a fluid buffer. We can store it. And we can buffer multiples, I guess. Oh wait, can't you stack these? Is that stacked as an 800? No, no it doesn't. Those are separate. Or are they? Will it? I guess we'll find out. We'll see once it's full. do anything with that? Oh, yeah, I can do something with that. I can power my base. Um, duh. But more specifically, with the refinery, can I do anything with it? That's kind of what I was just wondering. Um, no, nothing uses fuel as an ingredient right now. Unless I change it in 1.0, it doesn't suck. Okay, yeah, I wasn't sure. But yeah, so basically I'll just need to flush the whole pipe network to keep the, the plastic flowing right now. Um, so I guess the other recipe I could do... would be this one, but then I'm getting heavy oil residue that then I can turn into petroleum coke. Oh, I should just do that. Okay. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I do want to make fuel into jetpack fuel, but that needs packaging. For now, I should be doing this recipe. Just making plastic straight up. And then the heavy oil residue, I can turn into and other objects clearance. What? Oh, how about that object? Um, there we go. So then you're making heavy oil residue, which then goes into here to make petroleum coke. And we need to power that up. Okay, 40 a minute. What are what are the rates here? That makes 25 a minute of the whore, I shall call it, H-O-R. <laughs> 25 whore a minute. Um, gets us to 75 petroleum coke a minute, which gets us some number of power plants. Call me crazy. But I think I'd like to get a little bit of power for free off of my my effort here. I don't need ten. Probably only need like seven. Um. So if I were to plop a coal powered generator right uh, here. Yeah. And I bring that over. Right, let's see. Let's go that way. Alright. 
course the splitter's not gonna work on that corner, so never mind. We'll figure out the splitting here in a minute. Uh, and then the water. Go up. Can you stack junctions? Ah, oh, you can't. That would be so nice. Can you put junctions directly onto... No, you really... Ah, they make it so hard. You know, compared to what you can do with splitters, at least. They make it hard. Because you have to have the pipe, like, already set up like that. And then you can place the junction. Uh, that might be too close. Control. There we go. Nope, doesn't like any of those either. Okay, one more tile. One more time. I just am probably going to set up more coal power is why I'm doing it that way. All right. So it uses 25 a minute because it's worth less uh, mega joules than regular coal, which uses 15 a minute. So that makes sense. Who's Julie and why is she mega? Um, all right, bad joke. I get it, I get it. But yeah, there you go. There's some free power. Um, are we actually getting enough to power it? 75 a minute. So I can do three full power plants off of just the one. Is that right? And did I already change the amount? Yeah, you're making 25. You're using 25 to make 75. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll take an extra 200. I mean, I need more power. It's look, look at the right side of the screen. It's on my list to do six more coal power plants because I was going to utilize the rest of the coal from that coal node. Um, but at least right now I can do three more. I shall. I shall, I shall. Alright. We need a pipe. Attach. Now, is that going to be enough? It's not. 120. So we need a shard, and we need 135, because it's 45 a piece. 45 times 3 is 135. Yeah, I forgot about the petroleum coke. That's actually really handy. I was kind of thinking we wouldn't have more power options until we did the, uh, not turbo fuel, what's it called? Um, shit. Basically the generators that, fuel generators, I think is literally all they're called. Um, yeah, I think they're just fuel generators. You like to use turbo fuel with them not called turbo fuel generators. So yeah, I just thought we wouldn't have options until we were mass producing fuel. This is great too. There's just a nice, easy 225 megawatts, and that supplies all the power we need to do the stuff we're doing over here. Even, if I'm not mistaken. Probably, if I were to put that a little bit, yeah, off to the side, I can do two with just one power pole. I don't need this line of foundations. Sweet! Alright, so now we've got 
plastic. And this is where the new Dimensional Depot thing is just gonna shine because, oh no, I'm missing sand. Oh, we can fix that, crafting station. I need 10 fluctuators here. But uh, now I can just put plastic into the Dimensional Depot and grab it out from home and I don't need to set up logistics and I don't even need to come here every time I want plastic. It is so amazing. This is just such a great, such a great invention. It's the best thing since sliced bread. Of course, that just happens to be right where the power plant is. Let's still have a very full inventory. Let's ditch a few things here. Like a piece of wood. Like some random iron. Mm, some concrete. Sweet. Oh, I haven't connected this. There we go. Yay! Plastic. Plastic and oil. All right, and then plastic will allow us to use the packager. I will have to run home to research that, or uh, yeah, research that milestone. And then we'll be able to use that to make packaged fuel, which I can use for the jetpack. So that is how that's gonna work. I'm gonna get a little, a little screenshot here for the, the episode. To good. I should get that slug before I forget about it. Jetpack helps. The parachute. Oh, there's another one over there too. Uh, the parachute is crazy. When there's a ramp up, you can get so much height off of it, but what it can't do is just give you free height which the jetpack can, where you're just floating in midair and you want to go up. That is something the parachute does not do. So yeah, we're gonna get a lot of oil out of this. I mean, when we overclock this, 480, yeah, we get a full 600 a minute from a single pure crude oil, and there's another one right here. So that's two full pipelines, I mean, the amount the amount of turbo fuel you can make from that is kind of crazy. I don't know if I'll be doing turbo fuel though, because doesn't that require... I don't remember what turbo fuel requires. Does it require coal? I can't remember if it requires coal or not. Is there coal nearby? He wonders. There is. Oh. A pure and a normal. Okay. So I could see myself building a turbo fuel factory down here or a power plant, I should call it, more than a factory. Because that's actually pretty handy. Now... I don't need to do anything with this, right? Thanks. Part of me wants to just make this two refineries rather than one save a little bit of power. Um, oh, let me in. It's really not a huge deal. I'm hoping I can put a merger on here. No. Uh, I guess we just need a merger in front of that one, like so. I mean, this isn't that big of a difference. Like, I, 
we already calculated it. Uh, it's like 30, or I looked at it online even. It's only like 30% that you save by not using power shards. I said that in a really weird way. What I'm trying to say is power shards, when you full power shard a thing, weird, um, it only uses about 30% more power per item than if you didn't. And what's even worse is if you, under underclocking is really weak. I think they changed the numbers somewhere since the last time I played a lot. And underclocking is now really weak. So if I need a total speed of 250, I can just do 150 plus a single, right? And so we'll do that. I don't want the shark in there. So now that'll still be a total of 25 heavy oil residue and a total of 50 plastic, yeah. Um, but if you underclock to only 50% speed, the actual rate of power usage per item is still 80%. So you don't even save that much to even go to half speed on your buildings. It's it's really not a, a huge difference. So don't feel like you need to go around and underclock everything. Like, yes, if you're min-maxing, totally fine, but it's really only worth it if you are indeed min-maxing. Um, and you know, on the on the flip side of that same coin, you really are not costing yourself much by overclock in terms of power efficiency. So by doing it the way I'm doing it now, we're using 51 plus 30, we're using 80 megawatts, and before I was using like 100 megawatts. That's a free 20 megawatts, sure, but it's an extra refinery and more complication that I didn't need, right? And so you really, you wanna be careful when you think about, um, if you want to clock things lower, because I feel like half the time it's just not worth it to clock things lower. Sweet! So we've got plastic, we've got oil started, and soon I will have packaged fuel for my jetpack, and that's going to be pretty great, because um, then I can really start the jetpack era of construction. And I do plan to build my factories with jetpacks in mind, so you know we're not gonna have stairs everywhere, or jump pads, or zip lines. I'll mostly use jetpacking. There might be a place or two where I do put a jump pad to go straight up, like almost like an elevator column, where I can jump down and then jetpack to not get hurt, or I can jump pad up to get me up faster. Um, I haven't fully decided yet. But I think this is all good to go, right? Did I forget anything? Plastic is fully... I guess I should do rubber, too, while I'm here. I'm being a dummy. I did forget something. Rubber. I should do rubber. Um, hold on. What's the rubber recipe? This is literally the worst possible place I could do this. Trust me. I know. Um, the rubber is the same thing. So I can pretty easily this, that, I don't like that connection, uh, I want noodle, noodle, okay, what's auto versus auto 2D, I think auto is, it. I like noodle or auto usually, um, okay, so crude oil, can't believe I forgot there were two main plastic things, not just the one. Alright, so we've got rubber, and I will do the same thing. I need ten more same fluctuators, of course. Ban the spam, as we do. Span the bam. All right, up, in, there we go. All right, rubber's automated. In the dimensional depot, I need to deal with the whore. <laughs> that sentence sounds very different. Um, than what it might sound like.
we go. Put it over there. R2D noodle. Noodle seems to work pretty good here. So then now we're getting 45 a minute. So I need a shard in here. That goes at 112.5. Yeah. Hey, thanks for the follow, Zach. How's it going? And now we have too much petroleum coke, so we need more coal power plants. Um. Do I want to do this? Probably just go. I mean, part of me was just about to put the petroleum coke in the awesome sink, but like, free power at this stage of the game is kind of hard to say no to, given that I don't have a huge excess of power right now. So I really should utilize free power where I can. So, build a couple more of these bad boys and bring over. I might need another water pump. That's fine. I wonder if the blueprint designer would be a good option for a cold power design. I might do that. Save myself some hassle. I do feel like if I can even fit two of them there, and then we can get, you know, the all the connections managed of the, the pipeline and the conveyor belts, even if it's just two of them, it'll be a lot easier to, you know, connect pairs of those. I actually need auto 2D here. Because this is a pain in the butt. Splitter... amount. I want to make sure we're not screwing this up. Am I even getting enough to run three? 135. Each one uses 25. Right? Yeah. So 135 is five plus some change. What I will do, just to keep the ratios intact, is do three, and we'll underclock, which I know is weird, but I think it's... That way I don't have to worry about using an awesome sink, and I don't have to worry about the numbers not being right. I'll just underclock this one. 40%. And then that should fix that problem. And fuel. Just come over here. You know. And then we'll need a merger. Oh, no, 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 I don't need it. There's only one thing making a petroleum coke. That's right. So we should be good to go. Uh, the water, we're gonna need more water. I have 5.4. Hold on, 5.4 times 25 is the 135. That is the amount I'm getting, right? Yeah. And then 5.4 times 45 means I need 243 water. So we gotta pump the pump the pump. 
pump up. 243. There we go. So that, my friends, should give me everything we need. Minus water. There we go. And look at that. Just like that, we got six more coal plants. Technically, it's 5.4, but I'll take it. I'll take it. This one doesn't have a connection. Alright, so that's giving me 5.4 times 75 uh, megawatts, which is a free 400 megawatts. And I'm curious how much I'm spending on all this. Uh, I'm spending 50, so that leaves me with 350, 80, 115, 115, uh, 145. Wait, I missed, I missed one. That's 50. That's 85. That's 115. And then that one is 165. This one gets me to 195. And then pump takes. So, 235. So, about half the power. So, I'm actually gaining power, and I'm getting rubber and plastic in the dimensional depots. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. How much are we getting? 20 rubber a minute and plastic. I did, for some reason, 50, even though my dimensional depot can only handle 30 a minute. So... I guess it's just for the power. Cool. Um, so what that actually means is we could even awesome sink some of the plastic if I wanted to, but I don't. I don't think that's worth it. All right, I think I'm gonna call it an episode there. For those who have been watching the recorded version on YouTube, we've got plastic. We can... No, you know what? Sorry, we're only 52 minutes in. I thought we were a little bit later. We'll do one more thing. We'll go get the packager, and we'll get the package tool. So I'm going to run home real quick. I'll uh, pause the recording so you don't have to watch that whole process. All right, future YouTube, we're back in the base, and a hard drive is complete. Bio coal, that's pretty useless. Cheap silica, we've already talked about that not being that great that's more of a late game thing oh silicon circuit boards however that is a plus if i'm remembering correctly um being able to replace oh my gosh look at the so the uh okay the copper usage is about the same but instead of four plastic for every single circuit board i'm only using two silica which is like one quartz basically yeah that's a good one um bolted plates are pretty good too if we ever get steel screws we've talked about that um but yeah we'll keep going with the hard drives i've still got five more here but yeah i remember that that being a really good circuit board recipe and we are wanting to do fluid packaging here i need a thousand copper sheets and 400 steel beams so i can do the beams Copper sheets I'm going to have to go grab, because I don't have Dimensional Depot up to a thousand yet. In fact, five stacks is a long way away for Dimensional Depot. Because I think you only get one stack per upgrade. It's not like it doubles with every upgrade. So the next upgrade costs seven Mercer Spheres. Uh, let me just double check. Yeah, it's seven Mercer Spheres to get to three stacks. And then it's 13 to get to four stacks. And then it's another 23 to get to five stacks. And that's the most you can ever do. And then you can upgrade. The The rate gets doubled, though. 
So one more rate upgrade and we've got 60 a minute, another 120 a minute, and then the last one is 240 a minute. But honestly, I'll only do those once I have 10 Mercer Spheres to spare, just because it's already doing what I need it to do. I don't really need that much more. All right, here we go. Fluid packaging. Ta-da! Milestone reached. Avoid the embarrassment of placing liquids in your pockets only for them to spread across your suit. Package and unpackage them with the packeter. Packaging okay. fluids allows them to be transported in your inventory, on conveyor belts, and by vehicles. For increased, non-pocket related fluid storage, you can now use the industrial fluid buffer. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Nice. Alright, and I'm gonna grab... Oh, look, it's just starting to back up. I'll grab the versatile framework that we can fit. Throw it in the awesome sink. Oh, I fell. Good thing we have a jetpack. Alright, um, so the awesome sink is down here. Let's put those in. And I need to put away all my high tech stuff, it's clogging up the inventory. So we don't need circuit boards, high speed connectors, fused modular frames, computers, aluminum casing, heavy modular frames, electromagnetic control rods, turbo motors, crystal oscillators. That freed up a lot of space. And then let me get rid of my slugs real quick. Oh my gosh. Is that 37 power shards worth of slugs from our hard drive hunting expedition? That's awesome. I'm up to... Am I going to be at 100? No. Close to 100 power shards. That's great. Yeah. And then summer sloops, we've got three, but there are quite a few places where I could pull those summer sloops if something more important comes up. And then canisters, I will need a bunch. I can just handcraft those right now. So yeah, we'll want to set up automated fuel canister production. You do consume the canisters, weirdly enough, when you're jetpacking around. And so I'm going to need to use the plastic plus the fuel, package it, put that in a dimensional depot, and then the empty canisters will just get consumed as I fly around. So, sweet. Now that I've got the packager, I'm going to head back to the oil. I'll pause the recording and then unpause when we get there. All right, and we are back. So I have set up a little bit of construction over here to make the plastic into... Uh, what are they called? Canisters. Foundation there. So we are turning plastic into canisters here. I'm just splitting off the plastic from before. And then that goes directly into a packager, which then needs fuel to make package fuel, and I will be making the fuel in this here doodad, and it will produce polymer resin as a byproduct. Now, that polymer resin can be turned into what exactly? Residual plastic or residual rubber. I don't think it's worth doing either of those right here. So in this case, I will just turn it into, at the cost of 30 megawatts, um, maybe. like to turn it into awesome coupons, but uh, let me move the refinery a little bit. Just get it over as far as we can. Hmm, it's rotated wrong. That way. Lock, nudge. the awesome sink special awesome sink uh, maybe I'm gonna call that close enough um, <laughs> don't 
don't look too closely. This is spaghetti. This is spaghetti area. This is to get everything working. Uh, until, you know, until we can do the proper solutions. This is the bootstrap. And then I'm going to need a power. This guy, and that guy. And... Uh, there we go. And then the only thing left to do should be connect up the oil here. we still have enough oil that all of these can run at full rate, but that's 60. Let me just double check. Um, 60 plus 45 plus 30, 75, 135, 165. I'm pretty sure we have more than that. Let me just double check. Isn't this 240? I think this is 240 with no shards. Yeah, it's like a Mark II miner, basically. So that's nice. And yeah, we just sink the random polymer resin. And then we've got fuel. We've got fuel, baby. Might as well. Uh, well, I guess 40 a minute. Is that gonna use up all my, my plastic packages? Probably. Because that's 20 a minute plastic that we're using. So I won't mess with that. And then finally, we need our belt. Can it be a straight belt? No, it can't. And there we have it. Now we have dimensional depoized our jetpack fuel. Yes, that feels good. Packaged fuel. Now we prefer packaged fuel. Now we have infinite fuel. I mean, infinite over the long term. I still have to grab it from the depot once in a while, but this is super nice. Um, I hadn't even thought about jetpack fuel. That's something you're always grabbing. Like, I remember <coughs> in my last run, I would even, you know, belt fuel, <coughs> excuse me, to a couple different places in the base just because you're always having to grab it. And now, and I can pin it to the top that. Now I can just always grab packaged fuel whenever I'm running low. So that's really cool uh, usage of the dimensional depot. It's so handy. Nice. And I can fuel up vehicles with that. Can't the chainsaw run off of that or does it only run on biofuel? I can't remember. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not for sure. But, but yeah. That's, uh, that's it. We're going to call that an episode. We've got our, our oil stuff up and running. We're powering it for free. We're actually gaining power off of all this processing. And yeah, none of it is automated for the base, for the factory part of the base, but it's automated for the Dimensional Depot so I can access plastic, rubber, and packaged fuel uh, forever and ever. And we'll be able to do researches with that. We'll be able to you know do handcrafting of things with that. So. I'm still not totally sure. We're probably just gonna do a long pipeline because we're pretty close to unlocking the Mark II pipelines. And I feel like 600 oil, pretty good amount. And I can set it up uh, with the stackable pipelines so we can always bring a, a second pipe of oil. I think that's probably easier than running a packaging loop. Um, well, packaged fuel loop seems like a lot of work. So I'm not sure if I want to do a packaged loop of oil with trucks and stuff. I might just do a long pipeline. Or I could do trains. Ooh, I could do trains. That's a thought. Well, we'll have to make those decisions in the future. For those of you from future YouTube, thank you guys for watching. As always, let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you'd like to help support me making these videos, I am on Patreon, so you can head over to patreon.com slash crydex. There's some cool perks you can get for doing so. So if you wouldn't mind, go check that out if you're interested. And uh, yeah, as always, leave a comment.
and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.